Hi everyone, it's Jeff with Home Repair Tutor, and today I'm going to share with you how to prep and paint an exterior door. Why is this important? Well, your exterior door is the thing that leaves a first impression with people who visit your home. So the tips today I think are really going to help you out with this project, and that's why you should watch this video. Let's get to it. When you're painting a door, well, at least when I'm painting a door, I always like to paint the detail work first. For example, all the different details in this window. And if you have panels on the door, I like to paint the panels first as well. And then I'll show you what I do after that. But first, do all the detail work. I love purdy brushes because they are just fantastic. They last forever. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're totally worth it if you're going to be doing work on doors or windows, primarily due to the fact that they're great at cutting in if you get a tapered brush. For a door like this, which has panels in it, so one, two, three, four panels in it, I like to paint the panels first. And the reason why is because then I can watch the panels as I paint larger section of the door for paint drips. So if the, if the panels, because they have corners in them, have paint drips or there's paint accumulating in a corner, I can wipe it with my paint brush while I'm painting the larger sections of the door. So I'm standing on this side. What I would want to do is paint, start with this panel first, okay? Paint the whole thing. Load your paintbrush up, about a half inch to three quarters inch of paint on it. Paint the interior section first, then I would paint this section. So I'd start with this panel and move to this one because I'm standing on this side of the door. That way if I paint this one, I can move closer and closer to myself instead of reaching over already painted areas in the door. With the inside of the panel painted, now I can paint the top the top portion, okay? I like to get a good coating of paint on the top, then I go back and I smooth out all of the brush strokes that I made with a nice smooth and light brushing. The smooth and light brushing eliminates a lot of the brush strokes and hopefully the flow troll, because I'm using that today, will help make the paint job look that much better. With the four panels painted, I prefer to do the four sides of the door next. So the bottom, the right side, the top, and then the left side, which has the deadbolt and the door handle. So why is it that I want to do those four sides of the door before you do the main parts? Well, primarily because if you do have any paint drips, you can touch them up. And the, the part of the door that people see the most is obviously the front. So if there's one spot that you don't want to mess up, it is the front of the door. Nobody's going to see the top and the bottom and the left and the right side. But if you do these last, it's going to mess up your paint job. After painting all four sides of the door, the bottom, top, left, and right side, you want to start at the top and work your way to the bottom. Why do you want to do that? You want to work your way from the top to the bottom because any drips will be noticed at the top more so than at the bottom. So if you finish at the bottom, you have the capacity to control drips more and make your paint job look better. Okay, so starting at the very top, I like to paint horizontally across any kind of windows like this, especially since it's in the top one-third or one-quarter of the, the door. So paint horizontally first. All right. And then work your way down to the next section. The next section, work your way down painting vertically. Down to the next section, that is. The next section is right here. Once you get down to here, right here, now you have to switch it up and paint horizontally again. Because this is how the human eye tracks the door from left to right, or depending on where you're standing, from right to left. It, so you don't want to brush like this, you want to brush across it like so. Okay? So brush across it. Again, when you get to this intersection point, just go down. The next section of the door is mostly vertical. So one, two, three. What you want to do is paint vertical. So again, paint here, like so. 
And then once you, once you get to here, at this intersection point, again, paint horizontal like that. But what I like to do is paint this vertical section, this vertical section, and this vertical section first before you get to this horizontal section. Once you get to the middle section of the door, what you do now, again, very much like the top, is simply paint horizontally. But again, don't cross this intersection point between the vertical section and the horizontal section that you're painting. If you do, it's not a problem. Just smooth it out like so. And then at the very end, what I like to do is try and use long strokes and using a light touch, smooth out the paint. This is the bottom third of the door. So you do the very exact procedure that you've been doing the whole time. You paint vertically for long vertical sections like this side of the door. And you go to the very bottom of the door like I'm doing here, okay? So you get to the very bottom, you paint vertically. And then finish off that section with long smooth strokes, okay? So I'm gonna paint this vertical section, this vertical section, and this vertical section. Oh, by the way, I already painted this one. <laughs> Once you get to the bottom section of the door, you paint horizontally and you finish off your project. So I am a klutz and I did get some paint on the window. Let's see if the Rain-X works. Now, keep in mind, this is latex paint, so it should come off, but honestly, <laughs> I think putting Rain-X on the window is a great idea. Just in case <laughs> you're like me you get paint all over glass. So give it a shot. I think it could totally help you out. Hey, I hope this video really helped you out and shared some good ideas on how to paint an exterior door. So here are some big takeaway tips. Number one, Floetrol does work. I did my little experiment and the brush strokes are definitely not as evident with the Floetrol side versus the regular painted side. Although Valspar did an awesome job at covering the whole surface of our exterior door. Second takeaway is don't paint the mortises or where the lock sets go inside your door. You're gonna have a hard time putting the lock sets back in place. And if you paint the mortises and the door jam, the hinges aren't gonna fit properly. So don't do that. Third takeaway is this. If you're gonna be painting, whatever you do, make sure that you prime the surface. Even if the paint says that it has primer in it, if you're painting bare wood or a bare surface, make sure that you use primer. And the fourth takeaway that I found out, which was new to me, is that make sure that you test the moisture percentage in any bare wood that is outside your house that you're gonna be painting. And make sure that that moisture level is around 15% or so. So again, I hope this video helped you out. Have a great day.